Cool. I'm hoping you can hear me properly. I've got the camera position just a bit differently. Uh, it's just slightly different in the not quite the right spot. I actually do like to have that background of the plant, but I'm not sure what I've changed because I like that aspect there. But that's really different. <laughs> I don't know what's what's done. See, I like that. I'm a gorgeous little plant. And I've twirled it around a bit. So it's not square on. That's the Virgo in me. I've got to have the screen <laughs> square on. So something about the camera is a bit different. Good morning, everyone. It is Roz here, uh, a Roz Bounty Psychic Medium, bringing to you the Daily Letterman Card Spread Reading. And keep in mind, it is a general card spread reading for those who are here and watching the replay. Uh, probably not relevant for you, but for this morning, it is. <laughs> Good, Deb, thanks. It is a general spread reading where you need to tune in and do some of that work yourself with your spiritual guidance. So certainly bring in those who are your spiritual team. Call them in. Uh, go with your gut feeling. Just sense and listen what actually is coming into you as messages from the cards this morning. So here we go and saying hi to Michaela. Good morning to you. And we've got Rena here on time <laughs> to watch the whole thing without replay. Good morning, Rena. And cool, yes, <laughs> it's miraculous. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? And Michaela saying hello to Rena there. So it's great that we're creating this community. It's fantastic i love it so yes coming through loud and clear is what deb's sharing so you like the plant well i do too it's looking a little um sad at the moment i need to actually uh twirl it around and actually it's not looking sad it's looking fantastic for the fact i don't water it as much as i should uh though that would probably end up drowning it with overcare good morning to you shaz lovely to have you here and um, we've got kim on her way to work hence the emoji. So uh, Rena saying, good morning to Michaela, <laughs> having the toing and froing. Good morning, Sarah, lovely to have you here as well. And we've got the lovely little emojis from Michaela. There's so much that we <laughs> actually do <laughs> share together now being what seems like a family. It's wonderful. So thank you. And Michaela, you're just mentioning you're, ne you're not necessarily, you're, you're awake, but not ne necessarily up as it were. Hey, sometimes that's how it works, isn't it? We can uh, relax and, um, yeah, in the slumber mode. It's all right. And good morning, Richard. I think you're new here, Richard. Lovely to see you here. So thank you. Now, I am streaming this out to my YouTube channel, my Ros Boundy Facebook page my or that my time tv live facebook page that i subscribe to and have been in for a long time now um three years at least and the card reading group that i have that's a private membership and that is oh and to the soul software um oh it's got little twirlies on that one and the soul soft but soul software's body soul app and that is, I think I have got a little mini video in one of my destinations, as in it could be on my profile, it could be on the page, my Ros Bandy page, just a little video to show how, I think I posted it, let me know if I didn't, to show how to actually download the Body Soul app because it's a wonderful little, very soulful oriented app, uh, different from the other social media. And we've also got from Richard King. Oh, gee, I'm trying to find, get the, ah, oh, there I am. Yes. <laughs> a hello to Chris as well as a new name, I think. I don't think I've seen you here either. And also, Richard, you're mentioning you're from Ohio. So your evening, isn't it? So, and good morning to you, Keza over there in Victoria, you've had a quick look and then you've got to watch later. So in replay mode, all good, all good. And Mary, good morning to you as well. So I'm going to get moving on the card spread. So tune into your spiritual connections and let's see what the cards have for us today. Now, the ones that I'm using, this is the first one that I read as such because it's 
uh, been a gift from a lovely friend. It's just a set of our cards. Every day is a new life to a wise person. So that's how we need to be stepping into the energy of today and every day, really. It is a new life, a new day. And all the energies are fresh and new. So we've got that as our little welcome to the day from the owls. And Veronica, good morning to you as well. And you're loving the cards, Kaza? Yeah. Cute. Uh, I do. Yeah. Like always, I love all of them. And especially noting that we still have the energy of the cross coming in. Now, the next card that I do read and I have become uh, used to, hey, Virginia, good morning to you and Misty Divine Love, Grand Rising to you as well on the Body Soul app. There are comments I can't bring in because they're by the RTMP into the Body Soul app. So there's the Inner Soul Guidance Oracle deck. Leanne Winston, friend of mine, and Deb Gilmore, friend of hers, have created this together. And I have pulled this card from there. And it is uh, emotions. So acknowledging your feelings while being present in this moment. A beautiful, almost confused look in this diagram, the depiction, the uh, what's involved in it but it does still bring for me although the look of a commotion chaos look it's it is sometimes how our emotions feel but it actually f has that expression of everything in it in some sense so that it is okay we are able to have our emotions and express them in what way we need to but there it, it, it indicates as well in different ways that we can actually look into and help ourselves with the, oh, I don't know, this self-analysis or whatever. Um, I mean, what I'm seeing in that, it almost looks like a swan's beak, even though there's a lot of, there's that heart-centeredness from it. If you can see see the heart, that's the beak, hang on, there, um, with that beautiful rising crown chakra and all the energy of that sunshine coming from it the goldenness the the beautiful colors um what do you feel about the emotions card you could almost yeah <laughs> uh, good morning joe lovely to have you here and Rena's just saying that emotions card looks like your last week <laughs> oh it can be can't it and here we have as well jessica and good morning Lovely to have you here. Uh, just from that, your avatar, I'm assuming, are you in Africa? So, and there we go from Nat, a beautiful good morning from Nat as well. So we're going to head into the actual cards, the five that I have laid down in a spread that I've become used to over the years because it is definitely coming up three years I've been doing these daily card spreads. So here we start with the cross in the home space. So that first position on the left of the main cross spread is the cross. It's the home energy. And then we're over on the second card that's laid down being the rider in the workspace. So that's what we've got for that energy. And up the top, which you can't quite see the number, it is the, gee, what's that called? Compass. It's the compass card in the unexpected energy spot, the card position three. And then we've got the well that is in the fourth position of your role. And uh, that's at the bottom of the cross, main cross spread. And right in the centre, we've actually got the tower. So a good one to have as a base foundation and it's the outcome position or I sometimes just look at it as being that pivot and by the end of the day we can gather it all together as to what actually has um, been the main energy we felt through the day that type of thing so and here we go from Jessica confirming yes she is in South Africa to be specific so that's wonderful nice to have you here as a first timer I'm assuming that you are a first timer to this particular um, session now tune in and let's see what the cards have for us so cross faith trust um, it's our home base energy it's where we're living you know as far as anything to do with the home today it is oh God, excuse me if I'm fiddling with the glasses I'm still getting used to them uh, I picked them up yesterday brand new pair so and they're multi not um 
progressional focus, I think is what the term was. So I'm looking at things. <laughs> it's interesting. Interesting getting used to a new pair. So the cross is actually to do, it is to do a bit with our faith journey, but I see it a lot too as being our own trust in self, in how we perceive and see ourselves and how we're carrying our load because uh, like especially in the Christian faith, there is that um, concept of the cross that Christ died on and him carrying all of our burdens and that type of imagery that you may have as part of your upbringing and history, uh, it, it does tend to be we trust when we see, you know, it's got that bit of a connotation of the, the trusting, the step in faith, that type of thing. So in our home space, I feel that it is more speaking to us of our own inner self-trust that what we're moving into, what we're doing through our day, in each and every step, it, it can be fully on, full on practical is to just put down something that you've been carrying too much of and going to the next step of whatever else you're doing. Um, completing something that you're in process of to take on what is the next um, task. If, you th if you're thinking the former housework, you know, finish something completely first and then go on to the next is what I'm feeling with that as the message. But it can be those things that you've got relationships with family members and the rest that you tend to be carrying a bit of a struggle around. Uh, let it go. Just put it down and just continue to sort out what is your emotions around things before you pick it up, before you need to do something else with it. So I think it really is coming into that inner sense of who you are and and realising and understanding and, you know, processing what is the emotions you have around it because there is a slight difference between emotions and feelings. So, you know, yeah, how do you feel about it, angry and all those types of things, but what is the actual emotion? Is it is it you're feeling hurt by something or you're feeling joyful and really happy about something and wanting to move into more of it? You know, there's so much that you can actually step into with that in sussing out you know that connection of what is the emotions and what is the cross meaning for you so and that's in the home space now we can move into that that is the workspace and we've got the rider the rider is the start of the journey it's the number one card and look at all the beautiful colors and that full-on potential of what's going to be ahead it is like an adventure what we've got here is the horse but it's a carousel horse that's broken free of that merry-go-round so that you're on your own journey you are taking things in your workspace to a new destination a new potential all the possibilities that are in it so if you're actually starting on a new project it's boding well for you to do that today and really get that planning in, uh, you know, what you're needing to be doing. The rider is more in the interpretation of what I understand Lenneman to be, a message coming in. So have your, um, you know, your awareness around being, uh, you know, given a message, uh, receiving a message, having something come in that's more specifically for you for what your work is today. So it could be that you might get that next process, a message about that next step or process that you're needing to do on a particular project in your workspace or building a business. You know, what's the next step if it's, uh, you know, because currently I'm in the process of doing something myself that there is a next step in registering a business name or creating a business company, that type of thing. It's doing what's needed for, for shifting that energy forward into the beautiful rainbow colours of what is the possibilities. And good morning to Alison. You may have to start by, re, you know, watch the replay later, but it's not much you've missed, Alison. So from where our rider is taking us in that, you know, all those beautiful possibilities and feeling that, you know, it's shifting possibly from, you know, being in the home space to something that may be a little bit, you know, on the challenging and trusting yourself and moving into where your work is and all those possibilities, lifting the spirits to find what's next. Here we've got the compass actually giving us some of the direction in that 
unexpected moment that you you know you just know that something's popping in and especially connected and correlating to the message that you're probably getting in your work uh, it's certainly going to redirect you it's going to keep fine-tuning you into what direction you're traveling is going to be perfectly suited to what you have as part of your plans as what universe has for you or spirit as you know just trust and know here's that trust coming in trust and know that that compass is giving you the direction you need to be moving forward to what is optimal towards building up your you know experience and learning and all that you need to have as part of your life path uh, and where you're going here in our resort you know in our role that well is the resources that we hold within trusting again that trust factor of knowing that what we need is in this world that it is full it's not something that's dried out because we have behind all of this uh, you know the pedestal the the well sitting high being ultra visible in what looks like not much around and about but it is green it's verdant it's lush it looks like everything is going so well in this uh, depiction of the well in its separateness uh, and accessibility it's got ease of accessibility you just step up to the wheel and drop the bucket and bring up what you need so it actually absolutely is at whatever time you're needing to take that next step in your workspace go to the well and pull out what resources you need next whatever you're needing in the home space go and pull out the resources whatever you need and and that's great news too Sandra you've got the perfect career new perfect a new career prospect and you're making plans for the future absolutely is isn't it and what is the outcome of that too as we're using what our resources are it will continue to keep being full okay it doesn't dry out and that then brings us to this outcome that central position of the tower it's the foundations a tower of this nature needs good firm foundations it's what we have it's what we're building it's what our life and ancestry and all of that that's brought us to where we are right now is that foundation that's going to continue to build what we're needing for the now being present in this moment as well as for what is needed for our next hour the rest of the day the next month uh, and moving forward it is building up and up and up and gaining whatever heights we desire in what our uh, living is being the I am and you are perfect in whatever choices you're making they are shifting you in the right direction they are giving you the resources you know you've got the resources to be able to use to take that journey so that's what I'm feeling from the cards this morning as far as the message for you and you love the compass Virginia <laughs> and Misty Divine you say oh I'm not sure which card you're looking at you're saying there that you love but I think they're all gorgeous cards so um, I just love the Lenneman deck per se as in the whole messages that we can get through any tool they are all just tools really the ultimate that we have is perfect within ourselves what we're needing on our journey we just need to do, to go within and connect with our spiritual self that soul essence our guidance we all have a different way that we access our resources and our connections and our pathway even treading that journey some like to skip some like to run some like to just saunter along i'm a saunter uh, you know plod along and just enjoy smell the roses as you go type there's so many different ways that we can be who we are and they are just each and every one of us for us unique and that's just why it's so perfect to tap into that self connection that self with your spiritual connection that being the one in the whole because all of those energetics do connect we vibrate together 
So continue onward being who you are <laughs> and being the best who you are. And we've got beautiful little emojis from Michaela there to celebrate that. Thank you so much, Michaela and Monique. Good morning to you. Um, you might have to go back and watch the replay, but that's fine. And Rinna's mentioned it, you're a plotter and a thank you. Thank you so much. And there's nothing wrong with just taking your time, being each and every one of us has the different ways that we are that is absolutely perfect for us. And that's why it is like it's pointless to copy someone else because you're not the someone else. You are you. It's why it really does need us to delve within to really know who we are in our perfect essence <laughs> so that we can live as we need to in that connection, you know, just that slightly different edge of something and our piece of jigsaw puzzle won't fit. Well, it's got to fit because we are who we are. So it's all of that together, isn't it? So thank you from Veronica. Uh, lovely reading. Oh, thank you. Great reading. Thank you from Sandra. It's lovely to have all of your comments. I thank you. I really appreciate you sharing this time with me because I'd be doing it anyway by myself without all the technology. So why not share it? It's each of us have our own ways of sharing who we are to, to the world, to those around us. We might be just within our own family grouping or a public figure in our community or a world figure. Look, it doesn't matter. Just be you. Just be you. So there we go. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to look at all those. Such amazing perspective and so true. Thank you, Virginia. It does make you happy to look at them. The rider, oh yeah, the rider is a beautiful card and it really is the essence of starting our journey, isn't it? That rainbow and being set free. It's our choice which direction we take it to, isn't it? So thank you for that, Misty. Uh, Misty Divine Love, so on point from Virginia, loving the compass, yes. Such beautiful cards and a beautiful, beautiful row of emojis that Virginia has on Body Soul app. Wish I could share it, but it's not possible, not in this context. You'll have to have to um, download the Body Soul app yourselves. So thank you, each and every one of you. And I have got Ruti who's saying hello, good morning, tuning in. It's not for individual um, card pulls this session. It is a general card reading. Go and watch it from the start as a replay, Ruti, and you'll understand. So thank you from Richard, pretty awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And the emotion card calls to you. Yes, there will be one card out of this set that will call to each one of us in some form today. So open yourselves to what the messages are that Spirit are bringing you. And thank you from Kim. You've arrived at work. No rain yet, just overcast. Ah, have a great day. We've got a few little clouds, but it's looking like a perfect day ahead. Loving life. Be the best you that you can be. And until tomorrow, what's today? It's Thursday till tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Look, there is avenues to get personal readings from me. Both of those will connect to some form of reading opportunity uh, to have a reading personally, like, you know, for you. So, <laughs> and Kay is just just popped in saying hello and yes you will need to watch the replay just finishing okay i hope you are well to each and every one of you thank you so much and most especially to body soul creators and be you namaste